are going to be experiencing some inclement weather these next few days. And I want to make sure everything is as secure as possible. You can kind of see in the background, dark clouds are moving in. It's been pretty windy this afternoon, wind's picking up. I have a few tomato cages that I've used in the past that are kind of, eh. So I'll use what I can. And then I also have some regular steaks that I'm gonna use. Come on, Luna. So that's what I'm trying to do this afternoon. Caden had an orthodontist appointment today. Um, and his ankle seems to be doing okay. He got it looked at, got it looked at it. Let me focus, hold on. He got it looked at by the trainer this morning at school. And they just think it's a sprain, so they wrapped it. I told him to keep ice on it, keep it elevated, so he's not going to be able to play baseball tonight. But he is going to go and support his team and just sit in the dugout and cheer them on, which I think is awesome. Um, Connor does have a baseball game as well, so he will be playing. So that's what we've got going on this afternoon. Where am I going with these? Hmm. I have 150 tomatoes in five cages. Math. I'm just kidding. Most of my tomatoes are already staked, but some of them aren't. So I'm going to reinforce. Guys, I need to show you something really quick. Check this out. As I'm getting ready to prepare for storms and stuff, look at this. Look at this. Look at my hand. Can you, it, this is ready. I can't believe it. I can be, I'm gonna eat something from this garden. Wow, I think I'm gonna wait for everyone to get home. This is a monumental day. We've got a couple more coming that are pretty close. Probably within the next day or so. Look at this. Okay, guys. This is the enemy. I'm going to kill it. Where'd you go? No. Oh. Guys, that's what kills the squash plants. That's what kills it. That one's a good one. I could probably eat that one too. Yeah, those are not good. Those are not good bugs. We need to kill those bugs. Not cool. I mean, the zucchini are cool, but that bug is not cool. I cannot believe the zucchini. I'm just blown away. This is why we're distracted. Also, Looking for that squash aphid. Mm-hmm. Oof. Land somewhere so I can smash you.
I'll have to reapply my diamantaceous earth. Great, now I broke the leaf. I'm trying to flick the bug. To make sure. Try to help my plants as much as I can, but it's gonna rain, so. They. Get away from here. Stinking bugs. Okay, well, let me get to staking. Just kidding, I'm not gonna stake yet. I'm gonna show you something. This is my basil. It's actually blowing up pretty good. Uh, love it, love to see it. However, what I don't want to see are these little, they're, they're purple on top, they're flowering, and I wanna pinch this, pull it off, because once it goes to flower, then it'll start to go to seed, and then the leaves will become really small and we want big, broad leaves. We don't want teeny tiny um, little leaves. So I'm just pinching off the top so it doesn't go to flower. And it'll send off more leaves. See, it'll, it'll start doing these little tiny leaves and it makes it, I mean, you can use them, but we want the big fat ones. Okay, I have staked down with everything I have. And while I was staking, I was pruning and I decided I was going to go ahead and, not for me, but for whoever, uh, I saved some of my cuttings. So of my suckers, I just picked, picked some of them off, cleaned them up, and I'll show you what I mean by cleaning them up. Some of these were pretty big but I just cut off the lower, a lot of the lower um, leaves and I left one or two leaves at the top and we'll just stick these in water until we can stick them in soil. But I went ahead and staked everything that I could. I did have a few that I didn't have enough stakes for, so we'll just see how they do. Um, yeah. Hey, baby girl. Can I have this? Can, can we have this outside of me? Oh, is that a chocolate bar? Sure, we can share it. Mm. Not the whole thing, just a couple pieces, okay? Chocolate bar, huh? Okay, hold on. It's chocolate. Let me show you what I got at the hardware store today. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we have two cattle panels left over from our fence job that we did. We were talking about it, me and Buddy. What are we going to do with two cattle panels? Obviously another dome, like our loofah dome. So today it was a sign. I went to the hardware store. Grapes, grapevines, just sitting out there. I was like, yep, you're coming home with me. Just got to find a place for it. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I want to put it. But I'm just going to sit them out here and let them get some good rainwater in the ne next couple days. Let me show you these cucumbers. Check them out. After the rain we're about to get, guaranteed. They'll be ready to pick. Technically, we could pick these now. They're still on the small side, but they would be good to eat. Let them get a little bit bigger. The bees are doing their job for sure. These are market cucumbers. And I planted these later, after um, we had some sort of weather. I can't remember which event it was, but these are doing pretty good. I 
my Cherokee purples. I pruned them so heavy yesterday. I just left all the trimmings on the ground. I haven't picked them up yet. I pruned them really heavy because they were so congested and you really need good airflow. So I, I pruned them all along the base. But out of every tomato plant that I planted, I will show you the ones that have put off tomatoes first. Right here. We're not gonna count these over there because I started those back in November. But this right here started with everyone else. And this is a Bonnie's best tomato plant. It is the first tomato plant to set any fruit of all of my tomatoes. Here's my ba my barefoot nature girl. Mm-hmm. Do I want a cheese stick? Do I want a cheese stick? Sure. Did you bring me one? <gasps> Man, look at you with all these snacks. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think about these tomatoes? They're not wrong yet. Oh yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. They have one in there too. Mm-hmm. It's flipped over. It's what? It's flipped over. It's like bended. Yeah. The one in there. Are you going to eat some tomatoes with me when they grow? I want to eat the little tomatoes. Yeah. Let me show you the little spoon tomatoes. Come yeah. on, let's go over here. Right here, look. These are called spoon tomato plants. And they're the tiniest tomato. Look at these tiny flowers. I thought they were tomatoes, not flowers. No, well, they're going to put off tomatoes, but they're going to be really, really super tiny tomatoes. So whenever they do make tomatoes, we're not going to be able to see them. Really no, they're, they're just really tiny. You can put a bunch of them on a spoon. That's why they're called spoon tomatoes. Mm. Let me show you something else. It's pretty cool. Are you ready to see something cool? Yeah. Look down there. What? Look in those leaves. Ah! It's a huge zucchini, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that yeah, cool? We're, we're gonna be making so much food. So much food. Oh my gosh, I said food. I mean food. Mm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Are these all three too? What? Are these all three zucchini too? All of this is zucchini. Mm. Yep, everything on the right is zucchini and everything on the left is squash. Do you see the on the left the yellow the yellow squash? Look, this is this is a bad bug right here. We have to kill this bug. This is a bug that wants to kill our squash. So yeah, I got that one good. Now, where's it? Where's the squash? Huh? Where's the squash? Um, just look. Look through the leaves and you'll see them. Look, the yellow squash. Oh, yeah. They're not ready yet, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. I thought there was two on one. There is sometimes two on one. Uh huh? Oh, there's a lot in this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's like they have tiny skirts. Tiny skirts. Yeah. <laughs> I will forever think of flowers hanging off the squash as tiny skirts now. <laughs> These down here are the spaghetti squash and are these the spaghetti on them? No, but come over here I'll show you. Are they green? Well they're gonna turn yellow, but look. I don't know if you remember eating these, Alora, but um, see how they look. Oh, see how they look um, different. No, they're different. But look, do you remember when you open them up, you can scrape them with a fork, and it looks like spaghetti? Do you remember that kind? It's like real stringy, but it's a squash. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, we're growing that. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna eat that all the time. You're gonna eat it. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. Yeah, I loved it too. And that's why we're growing it. Because we love it. Okay. What is this? Onions. Yeah, Want to pick one and eat one? Oh, yeah. Just pick one. Here. Don't do that. <gasps> Something's been eating on this. What? No, it doesn't bite. Okay, okay you ready? Yeah. Um, this is an onion. I'm going to eat it, and it's a green onion. Okay. <laughs> Take a bite.
What do you think? What does it taste like? Can I try it? <laughs> what? It's spicy? It's a green onion. It's not that spicy, it's pretty mild. It's got a good flavor. <laughs> Silly girl. Do you want another bite? Uh-uh. No. My mouth is on fire. Also, Mom. Dramatic. What? What is that? This is Swiss chard. You wanna try that too? Yeah. You wanna try it? Yeah. Okay. Can we eat the red stuff? Huh? Can we eat the red stuff? You can, but it's it's better if you cook it down. Like it's kind of like a spinach. Just try this leaf. Okay. Take a bite of the leaf. It's gonna taste like a leaf. Or like a lettuce. You like lettuce. Mm-hmm. I mean it's lettuce. But if you put ranch on it, it'll be good. If you put ranch on it, it'll be good? Yeah, if but... If you put ranch on anything, it's going to be good. It's, it's a... I don't see any baby cantaloupes just yet. Aww, I well, they're not grown yet, baby. You'll know when they're grown. They're, they're sh they sure are getting big. The plants are. These are our pepper plants. Mm. What I've been trying to do with the peppers is... Um, some of them are putting off little flowers. When I see them, I'll pull them off. I know, look. No, not that one. That's a marigold. That's not a pepper okay, plant. Pepper? Yeah, that's a pepper plant. I'm listening for him. He's already here. Because yeah. these pepper plants are not ready to put off flowers yet. Or, I mean, they, they, they think they are, but they're oh, just not mature thing. enough to hold a big pepper. Like this, Mom? Only pick off the little... There's a lot. Yeah. Just only pick off the flower buds, though. Why? Because we don't want them to make um, peppers just yet. We want them to get a little bit bigger and stronger. This little guy turned. Yes. It's coming from over there. Someone's burning something. It's like they're burning hay. Yep. It's always a concerning smell around here. Smoke. And you, is this pepper? Yep, these is are all peppers. Pepper? Mm -hmm. I think I picked those flowers off already, though. You want to eat something else in here? Yeah. Um, well, baby, there's not much you, we can eat right now. Can I eat that? That, that, that big squat, that squat? Big zucchini? Yeah. Um, we can. Yay. Please don't say but. Please don't say but. Let's go get it. Oh, yay! I'm a fun All right. Dad. Oh, yeah. You're going to get it? Yeah! All right. Do you know how to get it? You can't, you can't just rip it. You've got to go down at the very, where it's very, very important. Twist. Twist. Yeah. Oh, oh, spiky. Yeah, it's a little spiky. Yeah, we should move this out of the way. Can you, can you go over here and hold it? Sure. Stand this button. Go from here and then twist. Like this? Yep, just twist, twist, twist. Twist Wait. until it pops off. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Me, farmer. <laughs> you ready to eat it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's so strong, but it's light. Uh huh. Someone is a happy girl. Snow cone time. Come on, Connor, come home. There you go. All right, Connor. Connor. High five, dude.
<laughs> Good job scoring, Connor. I love you. I love you.